What's up, ladies and gents? Brave Insanity here, bringing you another episode of Chassis Showcase. And this time around, we will be focusing on the Victors. Uh, I feel that the Victor, much like the Awesome, is an underestimated and underutilized mech, and we should be seeing more of them on the battlefield, in my opinion. Now, you may be wondering, if we're concentrating on Victors, why the fuck am I looking at an Atlas right now? And I'm going to show you. So we're going to go ahead and look at Mr. Atlas here. Now, mind you, he has his armor tree completely decked out. And with armor of 74 on the arms, 77 over 15 on the torso, 19 on the head, 118 over 17 on the center torso. Pretty good. That's a lot of armor. That's what the Atlas is supposed to be. A giant fucking tank. But, when we go to this little guy, thanks to the introduction of the quirk system, you can see in the bottom right of the quirks that he has a bunch of base armor quirks, and coupled this with his maxed out skill tree of armor, and we have 77 in the arms, 80 over 14 on the torso, 20 on the head, and 120 over 19 on the center torso, meaning that this little 80 ton mech has more armor than the 100 ton awesome uh, King Crab, Dire Wolf, etc. You name it. Now, the loadout. We have two ER large lasers for long range poking pleasure, two LRM 10s for long range, and three machine guns for anything that gets up close that's armor stripped. Now, I did have two SRM 6 Artemis and two large pulse on here, but I was noticing that I simply wasn't getting into good enough positions to utilize them so I decided to switch it up just a little bit. I haven't touched the loadouts on my Victors in a very long time. Uh, more pros about this mech aside from being an absolute armor beast is it has articulating arms so anything mounted on your arms you can you know aim with. Uh, I personally keep my arms locked with my torso because I find it easier to hold shift down to move my arms than I do to just have it on free look, but that's personal preference. And uh, it cruises at a pretty fast speed, 64.8, and it can equip jump jets. This particular variant, I took the jump jets off in place for more weapons and ammo, etc. But uh, I don't know, they're, overall they're a really solid mech, and I don't see why they're not used as much as they used to be. Um, one thing that I did read is that Victors used to be one of the kings of pop tarting, and when they nerfed pop tarting, the Victor kind of fell off the face of the map. So I don't know if there's any truth to that, but that's the story that I know, and that's what I'm sticking to for this video. Prove me wrong if you want. So without further ado, let's take this bad boy into battle, see what we can do. Well, that was odd. I had a power outage while I was searching for the match, uh, so I took the opportunity when my computer came back on and I started recording again and whatnot to uh, change the mech ever so slightly. Um, I just ditched the LRM 10s for SRM 6 Artemis and added additional heat sinks, bringing my heat management to 1.5, which uh, should be pretty steady for me firing these ER large lasers at will. If anything gets up close, we can pop them with, you know, damn near 26 damage. And then machine guns, yeah, they, they do what they do. <laughs> if they're armor stripped, great. But all that said and done, let's finally get into a fucking match. Come on, there we go. Let's go to the frozen city on assault. Looks like we're going to Tourmaline Desert. Or 
Caustic Valley. Motherfucker. Well, this map certainly isn't going to help with the heat threshold. Finally. Battlemaster, Atlas, Direwolf, Victor, Black Knight. Alright. We are pretty heavy, actually. Not bad off. Reactor online. Fenters online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Probably gonna crest this ridge into certain death. Oh, that's thermal for you. Delta four. See a fucking thing. Nice army strike over there. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Warning. Target engaged. Could barely see that guy. He's trying to get missile locks from people. That's a fine how do you do? What's up, buddy?
a whole lot of peeking going on. Low-mounted weapons. I'm at 71%. It's not great. 71% in the Victor, though, isn't bad, considering how much armor these fucking things have. Oops. Mistakes were made. Exactly up in numbers. I don't know. Most of my team is on this side, though. Target engaged. Shit. Two of them just went down. That was tough. Damn, my machine guns are gone. This thing tanks like a beast. Enemy mech detected. Target Finally take me down at 26%. <laughs> 583 damage. Not bad. I'm telling you, man, these victors are monsters. They are hard to take down. We'll just watch the conclusion of the match. It's one on one. Behind you, man. I don't even know where it's coming from. <laughs> there he is. So close. So close. Critical hit. Left torso. Critical hit. Left arm. <laughs> oh shit, this is great. Get he's right there! Get him! Get him! Enemy mech detected. Fuck him up! Yeah, 
Yeah, that was kind of messed up. Well, let's see what we did here. Eight kill assists, one killing blow, 583 damage. Suicide. Did I kill myself? I may have blown myself up by overheating. <laughs> it's more than possible. 583. Not the greatest, not the worst, that's for sure. Well, overall, I wouldn't say I'm pleased with that game. I would say I'm content. But as I've demonstrated, man, these victors, whew, they are hard to take down. Well, in the next video, we will showcase the Victor 9K, who comes equipped with three medium lasers, a Gauss rifle, and one SRM-6 Artemis. Uh, some of these builds, I don't know. <laughs> I really need to update them. But at least this one has jump jets. At any rate, thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If not, hey, you do your own thing, man. I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> you have a good one, guys. Catch you in the next one.